Hi everyone, welcome to Bimburu. In this particular video, we'll discuss about IFCs, how we can convert an IFC. It does not matter that from which software it has extracted, but definitely uh, if you're working in Revit software, how we can convert an IFC into a Revit Elements file and you can link in an, uh, into another Revit project. It's very simple. So let's get started. So right now what I did is that I just created two different Revit uh, sessions inside one I just created a dummy project right now we are not having anything but uh, probably if you are having anything it does not matter any things uh, what we'll do is, uh, is that inside this dummy project will link that IFC but not technically IFC uh, the Revit file of the IFC so it means uh, each element in the link to Revit file will be the Revit element okay and how we can convert that one for that one I just created a different Revit session right here so let me create a dummy project I'm going with the any 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 template right now it does not make any sense because anyhow all the properties from the Revit uh, from the IFC file will come inside this Revit project so I just created this one let me go with insert tab right here and we'll link the IFC first of all I just wanted to show you this is the IFC we are not having any particular folder uh, any particular files except this one so please keep that in mind because there will be some changes okay so i'll click on link ifc and go with the ifc click on ok now it's linking the ifc right now inside in our Revit project okay this is our Revit project that we wanted to convert into proper uh converted elements of ifc okay this is not our main main Revit project our main Revit project is different one inside that one will link that Revit file that we are converting right now okay so let's wait uh, till it'll uh, you know convert each and every element of IFC inside the linked model but it's not technically right now converting the uh, 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 IFC to Revit uh, elements indirectly it's converting but we'll discuss both the things right there okay and parallelly if I want to show you the folder that was as shown earlier in, at the beginning you can see some uh, different files uh, you know started creating right here it is just like that as we are linking the IFC file inside the rubber project there is something is changing this we can see the shared parameter files because uh, what we can say uh, while linking the the, the IFC into rubber file we know that some IFC parameters will be needed for Revit parameter, uh, Revit, or uh, what we can say, uh, interface, right? So if I'll click this one, it is as Revit link, but right now we can see it's dot IFC. If I'll show you the folder again, we can see this is Revit project. It means this is a Revit file. Definitely, we can use this one, but we'll go uh, one further step again. So what we'll do is that. I'll go in 3D first of all for you guys and uh, if I select this particular link and I'll click on bind link right here there are three options that I want to convert uh, in a proper Revit element so what we can do is that right now I'm going with attached details attached, attached details means each and every element 3D element it's basically it's talking about that I want to convert so I'll click on OK uh we have seen okay the link the builder, okay i'll click on yes uh there were two more options levels and uh, grids as well so if you want to convert them as well then you can do that thing right here it's duplicating the 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 uh, hatch button that we are already having inside the red project but it's fine we can click on okay and convert that one because it's a dummy project right we are not having anything inside the project that will affect to us okay so that is why I always create a dem dummy revit project to convert an apps into revit file and then proceed for further steps so right now what it's doing basically it's converting each and every ifc 3d element into uh, revit 3d elements okay with the proper parameter things with the each and every uh, you know feature that we can do uh, inside the Revit project for any Revit element so let it convert okay uh, there is one more thing 
right now it will convert all the elements into revit element but all the elements will be uh, in, a, in, a, in a single model group okay it means basically uh, the IFC file will be converted into Revit file but as a, as a model group of Revit. Why model group? Because many times it, it may happen that you are already having some more elements uh, inside the Revit project. So uh, you may get confused that which is the IFC element and which is your own uh, element. So for that one, all the elements will be converted into a model group and after the, that you can decide that you want to create a new work set for these elements or whatever you want to do for that one definitely you can ungroup the model group and then you can proceed for your for the work so we'll discuss about all those things first of all let it convert into a model group and then we'll see what happens next okay so it's at 92 percent right now we'll take a little bit time more and then uh, we'll proceed to the yeah so uh, this kind of dialog box is open right now it is showing basically that it already converted uh, the the, the uh, what we can say the linked ifc into rubber project so you want uh, to remove the link or not so definitely I want to remove the link because my purpose is solved. I do not need the link right now. Okay. Now, so it has removed the link. If I'll go and manage right here, click on manage links, click on IFC. We are not having the IFC right here. Okay. But we are having this one. This is, this is model group. Okay. So I'll ungroup this one as of now we got, because we are not having any further elements. Those get affected from this one so i'm ungrouping this one so right now it had ungrouped each and every element let me go with the fine mode and shaded mode so that you can see we can change each and every property of the element we can select each and every element and you can see the parameters right here so if you'll see uh, these all are ifc parameters and those are inside that shade parameter file okay that is why it was right here now i'm not going in that much depth because it'll be very technical then uh, what we did is that we have converted each and every element into revit element now and i want to save this project uh, as as my ifc project and then we'll link this one into ifc revit project okay click on save and what we'll do is that now uh, we are having any uh, and our main project inside that one. I want to link that one so that I can model or do anything uh, for my own stuff. So we'll do that thing. Uh, let it save first of all, and then we'll proceed. Okay, I guess it is saved. Uh, let me go right here and uh, go and manage. Go for manage links, Revit, and add. And now I can add sorry this one i have zero project right it depends which you want to select definitely we can move but as we are getting the ifc um, it depends uh, that from which software it, uh, we are getting so let me go with internal origin to origin right now why i did uh, i said about uh, the, the 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 software because uh, i guess you all know that uh, we can extract the ifc from any software okay whether it's autodesk software whether it's Bentley software any 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 software that we are having right now uh, in in bim industry we can extract the ifc file so the point is if you are extracting the ifc file from any software uh, we can convert that one into revit project by the same process definitely there will be para parameters changes okay because uh, maybe uh, in, in, in what we can say open building designer is showing uh, different parameters right there uh, they'll not be visible into revit uh, but each and every time you can do the same thing at least you can select the elements and you can play with that okay one more thing that you can do is that right now the best thing of ifc conversion is that i think is that if you are having hosted elements 
like for example let's try with plumbing fixture on fc we never can host any element because i have see uh file does not work like that way so if i have just placed uh, the, the 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 plumbing fixture it's asking for host so if i'll go near the duct uh, it's showing uh, that yes definitely i got the host and i can place the element right here so if i select this one it will be hosted on the duct yeah you can see let me go with fine and shut in Uh, it's, I just clicked on real stick. No worries. And the point is, I just want to show you in, in, in proper colors so that we can see that how it's looking like. Okay. So definitely, yeah, we can play with that one because it is very important if you are having hosted connections, hosted elements, or uh, the, the the proper arrangements because we are working in 3D software, not in 2D software. So it'll help you guys a lot to convert that one. Uh, so thanks a lot guys for watching this video. I hope you got the idea about conversion IFC into Revit file. Uh, it does not matter uh, that from which software we have extracted the IFC. Okay. So thanks a lot guys. Let's meet in my next video.